So I'm one of the co-founders of a volunteer group called Rise to Reunite, where we help reunite families separated at the border. And we we try to visit these migrant shelters to provide just, you know, a little bit of humanitarian aid, whatever we can. And we raise some money and we would uh, buy, go to the supermarket there and get you got rice and beans and all that stuff for a hundred families, Haitian families in, in Tijuana. And so we work with uh, one of the coordinators there at Haitian Bridge Alliance. So we we love them very much. Is there, what kind of partnership do you have with them? Oh, really close with Gerlene. So Haitian Bridge Alliance is a part of a formal coalition that we have called Communities United for Status and Protection. Uh, but before that, we got connected some time ago. She wasn't at the convening herself, but uh, we got connected before that. And I'm really close with her. Um, and I deeply, deeply respect the work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got back uh, from the Texas-Mexico border. I'd been there for the first time ever. Mm. And man, it's... Uh, you know, on the East Coast and here, we deal with a lot of detention and deportation defense, but... There are certain places that many of us haven't been and don't grow because we can't, you know, mm -hmm. um, because of our statuses. I was able to, to do this trip and do something like this for the first time. And I think when I compare it to DC and knowing how much is possible and knowing how things can be changed with a conversation, it really pissed me off just yeah. to see um, just to see folks that are in shelters and how black folks are being treated. And it reinforced what I already know, which is that anti-blackness is universal. So we have the worst conditions. We get the, 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 um, the last appointments to, uh, you know, and, and they're making a schedule asylum right now and I'm probably talking in circles but the mm -hmm. long and short of it is that yes very close to Haitian Bridge Alliance very close to Gerlene and two having done this work the past few years without being in it firsthand to see some of the shelters I've seen what I see here in the interior of the United States seeing how much it looks like that on the outside of the United States made me more angry and it perhaps gave me more fuel that we have got to be really radical and make some changes so that all black people have the rights to migration um no matter who they are or where they're coming from or how much money they have or which border of the united states they enter or if they enter by air or sea or what mm -hmm. and that folks who are really vulnerable like folks who need to seek asylum which is an international human right are able to do so no matter their, their their way of entry to the united states it really cemented that for me and we talked with folks who run some of the shelters and you know they told us even how they're able to help other migrants and how the the cbp will be open to some and not others and by and large the thread the common thread through all those stories was that black folks out the short end of the stick and i'm so damn tired of it <laughs>